just got back to the crib, man, here in Orlando uh, from the game. Boy, it was good. We got to talk about it. I know people. All right, LMV in the building. LMV, LMVP in the building. I love it. I love it, man. We'll give a couple of shout outs here in a second, but let's talk about these Miami Hurricanes in the game against Florida State. The fans not happy. Everybody's upset. And I told y'all, give me a second. Let me look at the film. You know, when you had the game, y'all saw my perspective where I was. So you can't see everything way down there. Coach eyes ain't good like they used to be. Yeah. So I can't see everything 100 yards down there. But I had a chance to go back, look at the film. And let me tell y'all something. I don't know what y'all mad at. I don't know what y'all mad at. I, I kind of hinted to it. I, I, I said I understood why people are not happy. But now I have to be honest with you. I'm not understanding. I know my dog V12 going to get on my head about this, but, but we had to fight it out later. We didn't have fights before. We won't have another one. But I'm not understanding. I looked at it. I broke it down. I looked at the film. I looked at past games. I looked at all this stuff, and I'm saying I came to the conclusion, why are we tripping? Why are we tripping? And I'm going to dive deep into this. I'm going to dive deep into this. But we're tripping, and I... And, and I, we beat them by 22 points, right? We beat them by 22 points. Now, the only thing that I'm truly upset about is that we didn't score right before the half. We end up kicking the field goal. And I want you to listen to these numbers before you make your real decision. We, we score, I think we were at the two-yard line or something like that, three-yard line, right before the half. The score... And we don't go for the two, but let's just say we went for the two and we missed it. The score is 40 to 14. 40 to 14. 40 to 14 is a butt kicking. 40 to 14. Now, I know there's a lot, there's an emotional component to this, and I'm going to get into that part as well. However, we look at Florida State defensively. We know they're we know they bad as a team. They trash. They are Fugazi State University. But I wanted to bring this part up. I want to get right into this because I want the fans to get on here. I want you to express your, your, your opinions and maybe your points of view. But I'm looking at this. They kick the season off. They lose to Georgia Tech, three points. They lose to Boston College, 15 points. They lose to Memphis, eight points. They lose to Cal, five points. They lose to SMU. 26 points. Pete, what I just said, 26 points. 26 points. All right. They lose to Clemson, 16 points. They lose to Duke, seven points. And they lose to Miami, 22 points. So in essence, their defense ain't, I ain't saying it's great, but it ain't as bad as we assume. It's the offense that is atrocious. It is the offense that is atrocious. And we beat them by 21. If you know, if you play Madden, if you get on the sticks right here with Coach Hay, 21, you got to give up the sticks. We beat them by 22. You got to give up the sticks if you get what by 21 in the game. So all I'm saying to y'all, Miami Hurricane fan, is Trent Kilo. Take it easy. Comate. Huh? Like I said in the post game show, it wasn't exciting. We didn't have 25 yard plays and 30 yard plays. We had Damian Martinez with a good run. Mark Fletcher had a cut, popped off a couple 10, 15 yard runs. Nothing down the field. Well, guess what, guys? That's what they took away from us. So we took what they gave us, and then we did exactly what we've been looking for. And I got to hold my hand up. I want them to pound the rock. I need Damian Martinez. Uh, bruh, what are we talking about here? Damian Martinez was putting in work. We put 230 on the ground. 230 on the ground. 215 through the air. 31 first downs to their 14 first downs. Eight third down conversions, eight of 14 for their three for 13. 100% fourth down conversion, three for three. They had four of seven. 70, 76 plays today, 60. 16 more plays than they had. We punted one time. We had seven penalties. They had eight. 
no fumbles on either team, no interceptions either team, and we had 10 more, 10 more minutes of possession. I asked for Damian Martinez. Where you at, baby? You know what he did? He showed up. 15 carries, 148, 9.9 yards a carry and two tubs. Mark Fletcher, our condolences to the Fletcher family. I know his father passed away, I want to say Thursday. So our condolences to the uh, Mark Fletcher and his family, man. Uh, much love to you, brother. I know you're going through some tough times. If you do happen to hear this, just want to let you know, Coach Hayes and the team uh, just want to pass on our condolences on the passing of your father. But and I, I know he wanted would have wanted you to go play that game, and you did what you had to do, man. 15 carries for 71 yards, 4.7 to carry and one tub, man. And I heard this, that the team want to dedicate this game to you and your family, and that's exactly what they did. On the receiving side, maybe it's not what we expected. Horton, six catches, six, 65 yards. Sam Brown, four for 39. Xavier Strepo, four for 24. So all I'm saying to you guys, it's not what we've been accustomed to the past seven games. Huh? The high-flying circus. Huh? On the trapeze, and they flying across the big tent. The other night, it looked like street magic. You know where the dude stand on the corner, huh? And he pull a coin from behind your ear. Still entertained. It's still magic. But it ain't the big magic, magic that you're thinking about. But at the end of the day, it fooled you. It tricked you. 127 in the building and climbing. I'm going to get to the people. But again, and I'm, I'm going to give some love here. First of all, let's get some love right here. Let's clap it up for my girl, Ellen MVP. <laughs> Fourteen month member, so going to become a member in the building. Mark Fletcher, old reliable, got us the first down when called on, most definitely. Thank you, Ellen MVP. Ellen MVP, I'm telling you she she be working for us, man, and I love it. And I had a fat chance to meet you, and I appreciate you, and I love you for Ellen V. But let me tell you, let me go and tell y'all this. I know that the Florida State game was an emotional game. We want to stomp the mud out on 45-3 like they did us. And I, and I get it. I totally understand that. But, y'all, if you look at the tape, that was some football right there. I, I mean, we pounding the rock. Think about it. We punted one time. Now, I will say this. We got down there. We drove down there. And we ended up having to kick, what, three field goals, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we end up kicking three or four field goals. So I know people don't necessarily like that. You want to score. My biggest concern was right before the half, ah, we got to get in. Huh? We got to get in. I never felt that this job, this, this job, I never felt that this game was in jeopardy of us losing whatsoever, not even from the opening kickoff. But to the Miami Hurricane fan base, I'm here to tell you, easy, easy, easy. It wasn't the high flying. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah. See, we used to the Air Force and we brought in the Marines. That's what that game was. That's what that game was. We brought the Marines in and y'all used to the Air Force just bombing cats. But they took that away. And their DBs are not bad. They're not. Their defensive line is not bad. I'm not sure. I think we said six in the post game, but I think it was four sacks. I may be incorrect about that. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But I think they have four sacks, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pull this up right quick. I got to get my. And, and I'm not one to take points off the board for another team. But, yeah, we gave up a late touchdown. So, if you, eh, I don't want to really do this, but I'm going to do it as a fan. Put my fan hat on. Take away that ugly late touchdown, 36-7. to seven. But I got to give them the credit. They scored. So, I don't want to take that away from them. However. We gave up four sacks. Yes, it was four sacks, and we had three. So, I mean, they had 115 yards passing and 133 yards rushing, and we tripping. Nah, nah. <laughs> Gil, coach, you drinking the Kool-Aid, the men in black. No, I ain't drinking no Kool-Aid. What I'm saying is you saw a different way of skinning a cat. Saturday night. That's what you saw. You saw a different way to skin a cat Saturday night. That's it. So it wasn't accustomed to what you used to. But, bro, 
We've been asking for the Russian. We put up 230. 230. What are we tripping? Three touchdowns on the ground. I ain't tripping. But listen in the building. We won by 22. And Cam didn't throw a single touchdown. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cold pepper. Me and 12 were looking for you, boy. I need you to call in tonight. I need some of that FSU hate. I need, I've been looking for you at night with a flashlight, dog. Where you been, Cold Pepper? I've been looking for you, boy. Huh? 365 days. A whole year I've been looking for you. I can't find you. I see that Florida State on your avatar, though. Cold Pepper, you know I need to holler at your fam. You need to call in. I'm going to put the phone number up here in a second. So, to all my Miami Hurricane fans, I get it. I totally understand. But what I'm telling y'all is, I thought it was a different game plan. I thought they approached it a little differently. And I thought to give Florida State this much credit, they took away what we did well is the improvising improvising of Cam Ward back there in the pocket. They kept them bundled in, and they didn't allow guys to get deep. So they played everything in front of them. And that's huge right there. But what did we do? Oh, we got to change our game plan. And we did and were super successful at it. Super successful. I'm working on the good, bad, and ugly. I'm chopping it up right now. I was chopping it up right before I did this. And uh, it'll be out hopefully sometime tomorrow, maybe later on in the afternoon. But, you know, when I was away, I couldn't really do it. So we're definitely going to make that happen. Let me put the phone number up here, 862-799-9956. I got to hear from the people. I don't want to hear no crabbing. Uh, I want to hear some talk, some football talk. And I get it. I totally understand, but I want to hear what you got to say. You're going to cry in the car. No, you cried on the plane on the way back to Trailhassie. That's what you did. That's what you did. Let me get some love while I'm waiting for the calls to come through. Angel in the building. What's up with you, baby? Another member in the building. Let me see. See here. <laughs> All right. Clocking in for Sunday Kane's third shift. But the phone line jumping right now. Let's get this thing, man. Hurricane 357, let's rock. Normal guy, what's up with you, man? Uh, let me see here. Of course, LMVP. J Mo, another member in the building. What's up with you, brother? Um, also, special thanks to our sponsor, Interstate Sports Gifts. Guys, if you want to get anything when it comes to sports memorabilia, please check them out. Trevor, huge Miami Hurricane fan. Make sure you go check them on the website, interstatesportsgifts.com, or you can call that phone number, 912-433-8566. It is not a store number. That is his actual Sale number. Call him. He'll pick it up. He'll definitely find out whatever you need. He'll try to get it to you. So make sure you holler on. El Rico, what's up with you? So glad you're saying this, Coach. I pre- I'm, I feel good saying it. I feel good saying it. Because sometimes when we do these things, the emotions, right, and the emotional part of hating Florida State as much as we do and not seeing a, a, a humiliation, annihilation, huh, not seeing that sometimes we like, uh, it didn't feel that way. I agree with that. I'm at the game and I'm not feeling this butt kicking. This was like a death by a thousand cuts kind of win. Like you didn't realize like it's 22 point win. Like walking out of the stadium, I didn't even realize it was a 22 point win because it didn't feel that way. It didn't feel that way. Huh? And if we would have scored right before the half, we would have actually tied SMU with the point differential of 26 points. But we didn't score. So we had to settle with 22 point win. I ain't tripping. A 22 point win around the country ain't bad at all. Huh? Hell, we was glad to get the one point win against Cal. So what are we talking about? Now, now I will say this you know, those Cal games, the VTech games, even the Louisville game, I think it made this game hurt even worse because this team, in essence, in record, worse than those teams so i get that i get it but but we whipped they behind straight up 